Alrighty everybody, how's it going? Today we've got a really special review. This is the uh, Mazetto bag by uh, Waterfield Designs. Everybody knows I'm a pretty big fan of them. They're at uh, sfbags.com. And this is the 10 inch portable Mazetto bag. Now, I mean, these have quite the build time for a wait. I believe it's about a month now when I ordered this is about a month and a half, so. Um, this is the standard brown and uh, black color here. Now, this one is specifically designed for the iPad. So, let's see if I can just give you guys kind of a walkthrough on how this works. And this is the highest grade of leather I've ever seen. Every stitch is absolutely perfect. You can kind of see the leather here. It is amazing. Um, get this out of the way. And here's the front flap. This does not Velcro down, it doesn't zip down. And as you can kind of see here, we got some open compartments and inside is a very vibrant color giving you the ability to kind of see in there really well. Even at night this shows up pretty well. Um, and here we've got kind of a velvety compartment here and a little pouch right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah you can. Right there and then a bigger pouch right here. All made of a very soft material so you can throw anything in there like your phone, your iPhone or what have you. And this compartment right here, like I said, is easy to see and it's got a zipper right there. You can kind of unzip that and throw some small things in there. And the back of this has also has a compartment. You can throw some papers in here, or a charger, what have you. Okay, now I've got my iPad here as a demonstration. Move this out of the way. Here it is in just the Apple sleeve, and of course, it slides right in. You can kind of see how much room I got in there with the iPad, quite a bit. Or, depending where you're going and you want the extra protection, this is the Exo sleeve, and you can just slide it right on in there. Sorry, I'm off the camera for a second here. Sorry about that. Anyway, there we go. And even this, right on in there. Obviously that takes up a little bit more room, as you can see. Sorry about that, month the camera. Um, and you got some more room here. I think you can fit a keyboard in here. Maybe a magazine or two, but that pretty much fills it up, uh, that compartment anyway. So using a kind of just the Apple case or a nice padded case for your uh, iPad will probably work best. It'll get, leave you with a little bit more room. I've been just putting the Apple case in there and it's been fine, and another case I use. Um, Front compartment can hold quite a, few, quite a few things. I've used some cables and a charger and my iPhone in there. And I freaking love this bag. Um, I've been wanting one for a really long time. Um, so I finally got one and I've been extremely happy with it. And I'm, I get a lot of comments about it, that's for sure. Everybody loves this bag. Let's go over a few negatives and positives. Um, mostly positives. This thing, I haven't seen anything of this build quality before. Um, they're handmade up in San Francisco, directly by them, and this is the most top-notch quality you can get as far as a leather bag. It is fantastic. Right down to the little the little shoulder strap here, it is amazing. I can't find a single flaw in this. <laughs> really, I can't. Um, and there are, are multiple sizes. I went with kind of the iPad size, but you can get ones bigger for laptops and, you know, I think about five different sizes. This will fit an iPad. Um, I, actually, my 13-inch MacBook Pro will fit in here. I mean, it, it stands out about that far. But, uh, you know, if I'm just going over to someone's house real quick, it, you know, it'll, it'll fold about that much, which is still fine. So, it'll fit a 13-inch MacBook Pro in, uh, width-wise, but length is a little long, but it works. Um, so, yeah, the colors, out for multiple colors. Um, to complement the, the leather, I went with the black, like I said. I guess one of the only negatives I'd say about this uh, case here is I wish these uh, straps were, you could detach them. As you can see, there's no clip here. But, I mean, only for the sake of you might want to use a different strap. But, you know, the strap is, you know, really durable and good quality as well. So, really, it's not too bad of a negative. But I can see somebody wanting, you know, putting a different strap on there. They might get kind of frustrated. You know, worst comes to worst, you, I mean, I guess you could cut this off, but... I, I love it, so no problems here. You can actually take this this off. It's just Velcro, so you can put a new uh, shoulder strap on if you really want to. But overall, this is an absolute must for you know iPad owners who are traveling a lot and take their iPad on the go. It is just phenomenal, simple as that. 
Um, there's our logo right there for Waterfield Designs. Uh, I'll include pricing information below because there's quite a bit of it. Um, these things can go from, I believe, 189 to, I think, just a hair under 300, depending on the size you go with. So it is a bit pricey, yeah, but you pay what you get for, and you get the uh, Waterfield Design uh, quality here, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review here on the uh, Mazzetto bag by uh, Waterfield Designs.